took in the game one over the Grizzlies. Habachimore tied the Lakers record for most points off the bench in a playoff game, 29, okay. five threes, 30 minutes. Reeves came through. Did okay. his stuck this? I'm him. I'm him. I'm Drop him. Three. Okay. Let the world know. Okay. It's funny because okay. you just look at him. You never want to judge a book by his cover. But if a dude like that says I'm him to me, I'm on the other side of that. I would be demoralized. I'm bro. <laughs> we let we let a dude who look like this come in here and punk us. Austin Reeves is coming to the to the backyard. I know, Look. man. I mean, he's been playing well. I don't know what. I don't know what I was thinking in February. But now you apologize, Gil. But this yeah, is the okay. thing. We, 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 it yeah, was only because I'm just a Westbrook fan. You know what I mean? But this so is, I wasn't. I wasn't really. I wasn't really accepting the fact. Uh -huh. You know, I wasn't I looking at him as a player. I was just yeah. looking at him like you're in my player's way. Right. You're in my player's way. Get out of his way. But this is the thing that Lakers fans need to appreciate. Y'all both stepped up. Y'all offered the apology. We apologize. Yeah, sure. And since y'all have apologized, Reeves has been cooking. So you might have got Austin Reeves the bat. He need to come break Gil's arena off with a with an interview and some bread. For sure. I mean, I mean, let's see. The man's playing well. Bring a jersey. I know. That hey, that, that AR is gonna look nice in here. Yeah. Wait, wait, Gil. Well, I'm looking at the wall. I'm an Austin Reeves fan. <laughs> I mean, we can find. Like, who who, who, who jersey are you taking like, off the wall? He ain't here yet. I mean, but you know, <laughs> he we, not, you know, like seven, six, seven more years, you yeah. you get here. Yeah, he. Oh, see, I don't know. Is, is Joe Johnson in jeopardy? Hell, Joe Johnson. Joe, yeah. Joe, Joe. I saw Joe. Joe. I'm best wrong with you. Yeah, but you got LeBron, you got Kobe, you got KD, I, I you got the Joe, franchise. Man, I saw Joe. No, Jermaine O'Neal got hurt for me to be in my second All Star when <laughs> when the NBA tried to fuck me up. That's that says yeah, that's my buddy right there. That's my guy right there. Scotty, no Scotty deal. Pippen not coming off D Wade for. Franchise. There's no all right. Franchise? What's wrong with you? You put him. You know he didn't even play high school basketball. You put him in the entryway. I think he played two games in high school basketball. Francis? Steve Francis played. Just so fans out there, Steve Francis played two. High school games. Two. Damn. High school coaches are eight or two. Went to, went to, <laughs> I never knew that. No, that's crazy. Yeah, he, went, he played only two high school and, games. And then, went to and, then, and then went to No, he went to a junior college. Um, he, got to, he got a scholarship. Went to junior college. They won a uh, state championship. They went undefeated. Mm -hmm. Then he transferred to a junior college in Maryland. They won a championship. And then he got to Maryland. Maryland. Wow. Two games became the number two pick in the NBA draft. So wow. hell no. Oh no. That just confirms. That friend, that's why they call them the franchise. That <laughs> confirms what I always say. High school coaches are haters. <laughs> All right. So if you were his high school coach and you only put him in for two games, there's conversation that need to be had. No, I'm pretty sure he was like not going to school. Well, that go stuff. to school. <laughs> go to school for him. It's high school. You can't yeah. finesse a good grade. You can't yeah. keep a player. You know, like back then they probably had you gotta be at four periods and stupid crap like that. So you get him a body double. Yeah. Like it's high school. Figure it out. But let's talk about these Lakers. AD came through 22 points, 12 rebounds, 7 blocks. LeBron on a janky foot, still not looking like himself, but 21, 11, and 5 assists. So we're looking at this. Are the Lakers in control of this series? Uh, Boy, you better stop. <laughs> stop, baby. Four, oh. Not yet. Jump the Reds out. Oh, you done? Yeah. Oh. We're not. Yeah, we're, he's we, out. We don't know, Gil. Out. Oh, if Jaws done, then yeah. We we don't. Unless you got the plug that we don't know. You talked to Jaws. No, 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 no. He fell on his right wrist. I understand right? that. Which means he's not gonna be able to shoot. That's gonna take at least fourteen to sixteen days to get the feeling for a shooter, right? Unless they're gonna throw toward all in there and shoot the toward all up. <laughs> Other, but if they throw the toward all in that shot, he won't be able to feel that hand. Right? So therefore, without John Morant doing what John Morant does, in full, <laughs> full. So I'm, we got reports today from Shams that, that the x-rays came back negative for that's a cool. break or a fracture. Yeah, that's, but, that's but, cool. but to your point. That motherfucker gonna hurt. <laughs> yeah. they not, Memphis not winning one game. Would John Morant hurt? They can't get one. You know, Would John Morant hurt? I'm just, I mean, he's, he's going to play. Nah, he ain't going to be able to dribble with the right hand. I mean, mm -hmm. you, you know, like, like even when we just hurt it a little yeah. bit, that motherfucker yeah. just be yeah, going. Like a thumb, like, yeah, somebody hit your thumb or something. Yeah, what's, what's funny is I remember um, in the playoffs, Braun was coming down a lane, and I tried to absorb that, but mm -hmm. boom, hurt my wrist. Like, my, like, I couldn't move it. They got, gave me a torrid all shot in the booty, hyperextended my knee. What? That's where you take it. <laughs> yeah. You could have just said the torrid off shot. Yeah. Well, I, I gotta let y'all know where they take it. Yeah. So people I mean, who take torrid off shot, right? Yeah. I mean, I have to have one. Yeah. yeah. Shit hurts. So how long does it take hurt. once you get the shot for for the pain to go away? 
No, that goes away instant. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, no, for sure. Yeah, that's, that's wild. Man, it goes away instant. You feel that medicine going right there. You be like, ooh, you can that's feel like, oh, hyper. yeah. But you're hyper, <laughs> and when you hyperextend, you're Because drunk. you can't, you know, because whatever you're trying to guard, you're not in you're not in guard mode anymore. But what I'm saying is, did you feel the hyper? Was there any pain on that? No, I felt like I could, no, no, no pain on it. When you did but it? I, but I felt my knee go bad, like, oh. Yeah, that's gonna hurt me later on. And then, how long after that shot wears off do you do you feel that? Pain? Oh, I didn't play the next game. Okay, but I'm saying like, <laughs> how long are you feeling good till you like, oh shit, what, about what, twelve hours? About oh my lord, hours? Yeah. Yeah. that's wild. You just know it's coming. Yeah, Oof. yeah. yeah it's that's Jay. But let's okay. So you saying there's no <laughs> shot? But Grizzlies last year without Jaw were twenty and five. This year they're ten and eight. But the, I think the bigger issue is no Stephen Adams, no Brandon Clark. But they've got... Bro, it's 4-0. Why are we even talking about this still? He said 4-0. Okay, 4-0. I'm rolling. I mean, I'm four one. Four or five games. Wait a minute. We know the Lakers Two. play down to their competition. No, four games, Joe, because we need our Lakers to rest for the next series, baby. For that. Let's go. It's already written. What they say? It's already yeah. written in the script. Adam Silver going to get at least five out this one. Nah. Now, we need LeBron rest. We need his foot to heel, brother. Just, just trust me on this one. <laughs> we need our foot to heel, brother. We need our foot to heel, my man. So let's talk about Ja a little bit, man. We love, we love seeing the dunks. We love seeing the high-flying plays, the, the way he plays. But Ja's like, what, like 6'3", 180 pounds? Mm. So just looking at Ja for the, for the long-term longevity of his career, does he need to adjust his game at all and kind of step back a little bit from, from doing all that, those high-flying theatrics towards the cup? Yeah, I mean, you know who had a problem with that early in their career? Wasn't Dwayne Wade? Dwayne. And Wayne had that, but, like but that. Dwayne's heavy. I mean, Dwayne was more stockier too. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, he 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 did a lot of falls. Though. We had a lot of falls like earlier. I mean, Jot ja, ja doesn't fall as much. He doesn't fall as much. Like not like Allen Iverson, D Wade did. I mean, <laughs> D Wade fell so much. He was a football player. <laughs> no, 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 no. He had thigh pads. Yeah. He had uh, the, the side pads. One. He had yeah, the, the butt, butt bone yep, pad. Yep. He had the rib pad. Yeah, he had that. the spinal pad. This man had everything but shoulder pads. Yeah. Like, you hit Dwayne Wade's body, he ain't feeling nothing. He was secured. I wore that. I remember oh, that yeah. fit. I remember <laughs> I wore that fit my second year. That and all that. I was yeah, all, that. all this heavy ass <laughs> shit. Earl Boykins had real football pads. The real ones that you mm -hmm. insert, mm -hmm. he wore those, and he was like, "Yeah, because uh, the big man, yeah. right? He's like the big man, you know. They always knee me, yep. and I was like, oh, that's smart.' And then I had to think about it. How is the big man kneeing your little ass? <laughs> You're little, like how? How? Like what, what are you talking about? Yeah, yeah, but yeah, I guess yeah, it was yeah. just a concept of yeah. what he was saying. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, understood, yeah. but yeah. in theory, nobody was kneeing you, little shit. <laughs> why you always? Because he used to always do this. Oh, 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 oh. And I was like, what's that? I was like, football pads. He's like, yeah, the football pads. So when you look at Ja, I think of somebody like Jordan, right? Jordan, Jordan tried to bulk up to deal with the Pistons, that bad boy area, era, one of your favorite eras, that bad boy's dynasty. <laughs> yeah. You mean that? Well, Isaiah Thomas? 89 and 90. <laughs> <laughs> but to absorb more contact, to be able to deal with that. I mean, should Ja think about doing that, or is that going to fuck up his game <clears> and we can't have it? I mean, listen, just like with any player, you're going to have to adjust your game uh, anyway. You're going to have to, you know... Um, you know, learn how to post up, learn how to, you know, you know, uh, you know, pull up runners. You know, it's, it can't be always the same, you know, move, yeah. you know, two foot, you know, uh, jumping. But, you know, he, he's young and, you know, that's what his game is built on right now. But, you know, hopefully later on down the line, he does add more elements to his game. Okay. Yeah. I mean, he's definitely going to have to get stronger, you know, change his game. Um I always say, like, one of the things that helped Steph over the years was, was, was when he got stronger. Mm -hmm. Like, when Steph started getting stronger, you could tell, like, after he won a championship or got to the playoffs a couple of times, his body started changing. So, and he started playing different, like, mm -hmm. you know. So, I think he just, just got to take care of his body more, put that alcohol down, put that, like, you know, a lot of that partying and stuff, and really start locking in. At 23? <laughs> I mean, well, it's not looking on the up and up right now for them. I mean, like, like yeah, right. well, well, I, not all of them. I'm saying, like, you know, 27, like, eh? like 27, 28. Well, I mean, well, he's talking about, you know, they don't see nobody in the West. So, like, he, like, no, he, like, he, like, he, like in, that, in that aspect, it's like, okay, well, then you got to start taking your training a little way more serious. Than anything, you know, like, it's you're just, talking like that. It's that young. It's that young in us, right? You no, know, I like it's it. No, I like young, it. I like it. Us. I like it for sure. I'm with him. Okay, it's just you know. All right. Change it just a little bit. Yeah, yeah, Gil, you're going to go on record, Gil's Arena, the show for the streets. You don't think Ja, 
I think John going to try to play. We'll see. No, he going to – I mean, listen, he going to – Lakers tr- in five, man. He going to try to play. I mean, my, it might be Lakers in five. He going to try to play, but I'm just saying the way he fell on the fingers and yeah. the wrist, they're going to be hurting to the point where he can't shoot a jumper. Mm. You know what I mean? That's going to – I mean, you're talking about a game every other day, right? And that's going to take about – you know, that's going to take about 14 naturally. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. so unless he's going to take toward all shots the whole playoffs, then, you know, now – I don't feel for his safety because now he can't really feel anything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it's not going to really benefit him because you get it, you, you can't even feel the stroke on the wrist with that. No. Oof. We'll see, man. You know, if he snubs his toe, he tweaks his knee, he won't feel any of that until it wears off. And then that's, that it becomes another problem. How many of those shots can you get in a row? You got to space them out? Oh, I don't know. Okay, because shit. Uh, I, don't know. Know. <laughs> I don't know about that. Some any given Sunday yeah, once, my, when I, when, once my shit wore off, and I'm like, ah, my <laughs> shit hurts, man. Yeah. <laughs> my shit hurts. I think I tore something again. <laughs> All right, well, let's keep this thing moving. We got to talk about another series that everybody kind of excited about. Y'all, y'all thought that the Suns were going to smack the Clippers. Yeah. You, you went on record. I did. And said that. But game one. Kawhi, I, I would never root against a man with braids in the year our Lord 2023. <laughs> I've said that. He's consistent. He sticks to it. The last hair braider. Kawhi came through, 38 points, five rebounds, five assists, shot 54% from the field in game one versus Suns. And this, 